Yeah, um, I wasn't here. So I was back in Georgia, thank God. Um, and I came back in the tree, fell in my backyard, and my power was off. But um, I hope everybody was, was safe. And um, next time we have one, everybody continue to prepare the right way. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I think last year I was like 248. And about the time we got to like the Ravens game, I was just like, I just can't last. Like, I feel like I was getting tossed around. So I kind of bulked up a little this offseason, tried to keep my speed. Well, I did keep my speed. So I'm like 263 now. Um, I feel good. Some people still say I don't even look big. So I appreciate you for that. Well, as a finisher and in terms of having a more of a pass rush plan and yep. things that you have at your disposal, where do you feel like you're better specifically? Where do you feel like you're better specifically in terms of finishing and having a pass rush plan, just a repertoire? Yeah, um, for me, I feel like that's the area I'm still working on right now. Um, me and Coach Burke was actually just talking. I think that's one thing that I'm continuing to keep getting better at. It's just working on my finish and working on my extension at the top of my rush and turning that corner. Um, that's something this whole offseason I've been working on. And I'm excited to just keep seeing the progress um, and just keep building that 1% each day. What's different about you and your two? You know, you're not a rookie anymore. Yeah. Come in and do all the what's, what's different for you and how's it feel? Yeah, um, I feel like my focus, my focus is just less on what everybody has to say and more on God. Um, I think my biggest thing is knowing that, like I always tell y'all, like my approval comes from him. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, everything that I achieve in his lifetime, I'm putting him first for it because he's the reason why I'm here. And I think that's the difference. Like this year, man, I'm like, God, whether it's a good game, bad game, anything, like you're going to get the praise and glory for it. Like, I'm going to let you use me however you want to use me each game. And I just want to be a servant, be a leader, and be a blessing to my teammates and help them out in any type of way. So that's my whole, like, my whole thing coming into this year, man. It's like, God, however you want to use me, I just want to be a blessing to this team. Yeah, I think it's just a maturity, man, and just diving deeper into the word and spending this offseason – you know, more in church and more in the Bible and learning myself more and just seeing, like, how the outside world is and learning, like, bro, like, and once you get to that spiritual level, I think it's like, bro, like, God is your your ultimate goal. Like, he's the one that wakes you up in the morning. Like, some person in somebody's basement don't wake you up in the morning. Like, they don't, their opinion doesn't matter. So my thing is, like, I want to put all my focus there and let God handle the rest. Well, your high school coach said that if they, if, if somebody wants to motivate you, yeah. And then you'll go out there yeah. and, and you'll get it done. They also told me that even during like the spring break, summer break, mm -hmm. that you would call them and say, well, what are you doing? Can you come yeah. you know, work, do one-on-one -on -one drills with me? How do you keep that type of motivation going into your team? For me, I always feel like it's somebody trying to take my position. And it's somebody always behind me that's just like trying to come get what I, like, I want. So like, I always want to stay on edge. I always want to stay in front. I always want to stay up to date with like whatever I got going on, man. And that was my whole mindset. And that's my mindset now. It's like, how can I continue to get better? What am I doing to set myself apart from the rest of the competition? And that's just been my mindset the whole time. Nico's talked a lot about confidence. After guys, how you're under the belt. Yeah. Is there a part of your game that you're more confident in this year than maybe a year ago? Maybe? Yeah, I would just say within the system, man. Like, um, not reading, not thinking, and just going and just being free and just playing my freest. And I think this OTA and going into this training camp, I kind of feel that, like I'm more free. I know the system. I know what I can do. I know what I can't do. But I know I can be myself within the system. Away from the field, how, how important was it for you to have the first annual football camp and get back to South Georgia right now? Yeah, it was really important. Like in Georgia, like it's not that many camps down in the South. It's always going up north. I know when I was younger, going to Georgia for 100, an hour away, $45 camp. And I was like, man, like I want to go back to my community where it all started. Have a free camp for those kids because they deserve it, man. It's a lot of talent down there. And I just want to show them that anything is possible. And the biggest goal is just always giving back to your community and helping the younger generation. Well, what have you been learning from Daniil Hunter? And what's the relationship like that you've already started? Yeah, man, I've been learning a lot from him. Um, he's been great. Um, I, I, commend, I commend him a lot just by the way he works with his hands. He does a really good job, and that's everything that – he tries to do for us. Like, we do a lot of hand work, a lot. Of, it's like karate a little bit, but like, he's so good with his hands, and he's been teaching me that a lot. How were the uh, acting skills that you do? How was your acting? You gotta have to ask CJ that. Mine wasn't as good as his, man. How do you have to do multiple takes or anything like that? 
Multiple tags. We was there from like 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., man. No, I'm just playing. Seven. Like, like, like Cobra Kai, right? Yeah, like Cobra Kai, man. <laughs> well, you, you met, I know in part of your family, you always talk about, you know, your sisters. When you were here, I know you had one sister that's really critical on your play and everything. And you talked about how you ended the season and how you got tossed around. Did she reach you to ride at the end of the year? No, they cut me some slack because they knew I was hurt towards the end. Yeah. So they cut me a little bit of slack, but believe they've been on me this off season. They've been on me. I, I I had to wake up early every morning just to get away from them, man. They like, when are you gonna go work out? When are you gonna go do this? And I said, can I just can I just do my schedule? Can I have my schedule? But I love my family to death, and that's why I appreciate them so much because not only do I push myself, but they push me as well. Yeah. Um. I would just say the the bonding and keep coming together, man. I think we are further ahead of that than we were last year. Like, even with all the new additions, it just feels like we've been together for a while now. With everybody that's been here, like, or in all the new guys, it just seems like we've been playing together for about a year or two now. And it just shows, like, the type of guys that we have in this building. Yeah, man, I think my biggest thing, I just want to get bigger, stronger, faster. And I think those are the areas that I really improved on and have more mobility and flexibility to be able to get in some of the positions to bend a little better, to get off blocks a little better, and to use my hands a little better. So um, those are all the areas that I feel like I've been taking the necessary steps to, you know, keep, continue to keep improving. Whenever you are leaving on the field, well, what did you do off the field in order to have a better uh, presence in the locker room? Yeah, man, um, a lot of self-evaluation. Um, and just building my confidence and not being scared to say stuff sometimes and being more calm um, and being able to talk and stuff like that and being able to, like, let my passion come out but reel back on my passion a little bit and uh, just be more relaxed and calm about it. How do you feel like you guys as a team are handling the expectations? Because people think you guys do really good things. How do you think you guys are handling the outside noise? Yeah, Coach hit on the head mm-hmm. yesterday, man, and I know just from the players, man, like, the expectation is always going to be the expectation. Like, nobody on the outside is going to have a bigger expectation than the on the inside of the building. And right now, our expectation is just building that building, building a tall building, man. But it starts with our foundation of coming out here, getting 1% better, everybody keeping their head down and just working. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. I got you.